Tell me who will not get emotional. Nobody. Yes, so it's right for Kinomi to get emotional. Yes, so and it's equally right for Kabiesi to apologize to Olobi Naomi Shilekola. Though it's not Kabiesi's fault, neither is it Olobi Naomi's fault. I believe that everything that is happening is how God wants it to be. Hello, everyone, and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. How are you all doing today? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching this video from. And anytime where you go come across this video, how are you all doing? Happy New Year once again. So as we do already reach to us, hmm, according to Informato, as he take reach us, so allegedly Kabi Esido already they cry out. Yes, so when I say cry like this, it's not necessary that he's uh, shedding tears. Yes, there's a, a way somebody will lament so about something. You know that that person is not only when you see tears from the person's eyes that you know that the person actually cried. So uh, that is the case with our dearest Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi Shilekola in this matter right now. So as information take reach us, so Kabi Esi was like, in fact, he already apologized, cry out to Olobi Naomi concerning things where he promised Olori Naomi that uh, he would do for her um, before 2024 that he was not able to achieve and the year is coming to an end. According to information, so this uh, statement was released yesterday as we take here a more. Mm -hmm. That Kabiesi was like that. He called Olori Naomi and then uh, he started uh, apologizing to Olori Naomi for you know promising her that before the year 2024 that she will be permanently settled in the palace. That is no longer going to be a uh, sort of uh, you know when, when, when that is Kabiesi wanted a way, in fact, he, the way he wanted it was that before today, being the first day of January 2024, that Queen Naomi will now be in the will now be in that palace. It's not about visiting her permanently. Then the, the other Oloris must have left the palace, and Queen Naomi is now in the palace with her son and maybe with pregnancy or so. So that was how Kabiesi take plan. But you know, one thing for life is that. Is not the way we plan it. Now God get to do them. Yes, the only thing is that if you are planning anything, just uh, pray. Let God's will be done. Let it go the way that God wanted it. Yes, you might say that, oh, tomorrow I'm buying a car. Like, seriously, I must buy a car tomorrow. And God might be like, no, I don't want you to buy that car tomorrow. I want you to buy it today. Have you seen it now? God will do his own. Or God might be like, I want you to buy it in February. You see it? God will still do his own. So that is that one thing I found out in this case now, all right? So it's not KBSC's fault, neither is it with Naomi's fault. So KBSC apologized and he didn't do anything wrong, if I'm to suggest or if I'm to say, yes. Let's just assume that all these things happened for a reason, that is, it happens the way God wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. KBSC, we all saw his efforts. It's not that he was quiet, it's not that he was just, uh, you know, he's not, he was not doing anything. KBSC did a whole lot to make sure that Queen Naomi and Prince Tadenika will get back to the palace of Ileife. So, if it didn't work out, we see it that it worked out, yeah. Because Queen Naomi can now visit the palace, stay a number of days, go back to Akure and her. We appreciate it that way. You get now. But KBSC wanted it to be... Um, he wanted it in, a, it in a way that Queen Naomi will now be, you know, settled in the palace. As in, it's not about going to and fro or something. Kabiesi wanted her to be in that palace, go go without going anywhere. Okay, so and that is the reason why, as we take care of Ido already, they apologize to Olori Naomi. In fact, Queen Naomi was so emotional as we take care of him that Kabiesi was like telling her, uh, her that it was never his fault. That if things went as planned, that Queen Naomi would have been in the palace by now. Nobody's fault, uh, faulty, as in it's not anybody's fault. Mm -mm. It is not anybody's fault. It is just uh, the other is that is just doing logger logger head uh, concerning the whole it issue. But because if they they had listened to Kabiesi and left uh, uh, early. All this wouldn't have been like this, but I still believe that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, Kabiesi made so much effort last year, and we believe that this year that he's going to continue where he stopped, that he's never going to allow uh, this one, as in the one, his effort last year that uh, uh, he didn't bring Queen Naomi. That is, I don't, in a way that, in fact, we believe that this year Kabiesi will, you know, 
uh, act more, yes, towards bringing Queen Naomi back to the palace. Because now where we do already hear say in cry out to Olomi Naomi, apologize to apologizing to Olomi Naomi. It means say, in fact, he's not happy with the uh, much he did last year towards bringing Queen Naomi back. So we believe that this is a way uh, he will now buckle up, uh, you know and try to do everything possible to make sure that queen naomi gets back to the palace of ilayfi kingdom all right we can't wait for that to happen we can't wait when i say you say we can't wait we can't wait yes for kabi ac to bring queen naomi back it's now going to be kabi ac queen naomi 2024 yes so it's going to be massive don't ever lose hope the only reason the palace where they say they're not going to leave the palace we do already hear say they don't already they call themselves meeting and they do already they conclude say they go leave they want kabi ac to suffer Hmm, I don't even understand. Anyway, let's just assume that is a way that God wants to, you know, take them out of the palace. Yes, yeah, so let them be serious. So let them be super serious. We don't want the ones where they go talk ahead. We go expect me they now do actions. Then go still stay back in the palace. And uh, when you ask them about what they've said, they will be like, hey, we just wanted to know if KBSC will be emotional or so. So now where they do already tell KBSC, say, if them leave, KBSC go cry and they apologize to them <laughs> i don't understand sure but anyway let them know that uh kabi ac self wants them out of the palace everybody queen naomi's fans all over the world yes let them go so that queen naomi can come back to the palace yes if not for queen naomi self for prince tade let prince tade be around his dad he need to be around his dad all right so that's it my correct people when we got hold of this information i was like let me rush you and know what you happen why kbsc they you know they apologize or something why if we know me they did emotion or something now there i found out that kbsc was like he was not able to fulfill all the things he planned out to do for olobi naomi uh come this year but anyway we believe that KBSC is going those things he didn't achieve last year he was not able to achieve we believe that this year that KBSC is going to achieve all of it all none will remain you see bringing queen naomi back to the palace ah you do already in fact KBSC do already look forward to it for a very long time and we believe that god is going to do it for him mm -hmm. god is going to do that he's, he had desires for him He's going to succeed this time around. And the other is the way where they go take leave this 2023. So if them, they no go understand them. So my correct people, that's it. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. These are alleged information. So we gather on top internet. And we have decided to carry it and come to an phone to know what in the shop as he take the land for internet for inside the palace of Ileife. For us to know that KBAC uh, truly he wants to bring Queen Naomi back. Let us not just go and say, ah, since he was not able to do it last year, he cannot do it again. No, let us not think that way. As KBAC do already reach out to Olomi Naomi concerning this, it means say KBAC go achieve those things where he no achieve last year. All right, people. These are uh, this is the information. I don't carry and come. I go carry more. Come to now if I see. I will see you soon in my next upload. Happy New Year once more. Bye bye. Thank you and God bless.